Hello there and welcome back to another Elder Scrolls Online video. Now, in this video I want to talk a little bit about the provisioning skill and how it can benefit you and how you can rank it up really fast to make all the best types of foods and drinks for your journeys in the world of Elder Scrolls. Because it is really, really beneficial to have the ability to increase your stamina by say a thousand for half an hour or increase the recharge rate of your health by 90 for an hour. It just comes in so handy when you're going against the mega hard boss, it's brilliant. So for me, I like to find somewhere secluded that has lots of boxes and barrels all closely packed together so within half an hour you can have an inventory full of food and maybe craft 20 different items. And the perfect place for that for me in the Daggerfall Covenant is right near the start, go down to the docks in the boats. Now obviously these are all stolen items but you don't have to launder this food because you can actually craft with stolen items without it being an issue. The game just doesn't care. So you head down into this boat, loot all the barrels and while you're doing this there are also like treasures, some worth 30 gold, some worth 100 gold, so you can make a bit of money on the side while doing this if you want to. Also make sure your inventory has plenty of space, so bank every item that you've got, maybe increase your inventory space, increase your bank space, just make sure you have around 40-50 spaces in your inventory to carry all of these items, because there are a lot of different foods, and if you end up being full, that's going to be a little bit of a problem, because there's so many different varieties, you might be missing that one key ingredient that you really need. So after about half an hour of doing this, you probably build up, say, 100 ingredients, I'm not sure. I'm not great on the numbers because I haven't done this too much, but it worked really well for me. So then you can head down to anywhere that has a cooking pot. I like to go into the Thieves' Denny sort of area where you do all your laundering and selling and stuff. And just craft everything. I'm going to speed this up so you can see how many levels it actually makes me do. And then when it finishes, you'll actually see I've gone from around 19 all the way up to 24, 25. I'm not watching it right now, so I hope that is actually the amount of levels I've done. It'd be really awkward if it only went up to 22 or something. But I'm pretty sure that's the amount of levels you're going to do. This is such an effective method, and if you manage to get all of those stolen items as well that are worth 30 to 100 gold, you could probably make 1,000 to 3,000, 4,000 gold while doing this as well. It is brilliant. So I hope you found this helpful, and I will do more guides for how you can rank up other skills, say blacksmithing and stuff, because I do have a few techniques for those as well. Thank you very much for watching. Destin over and out, Guardians.